you guys have heard of the barge bite. Uh, here in Michigan, we have what's called the wakeboard bite. So uh, after I get knocked off anchor and all my shit gets snagged up, hopefully I'll get a bite. Respect for us fishermen. Two footers. Here we go. There I go off anchor. Yep. And my rods go snagged up. You guys can hear me it's a little windy out here uh, but we're back out here on the st joe river in the red bud stretch i uh, just stunk out of work early getting out here so if my boss is watching i'm sorry uh, but we're out here a little early i got the, the itch to go fishing so we're gonna hit up get some uh, bluegills like we normally do get some bait and then we're gonna head down the river a little bit hit a couple deep holes i got and uh, try out some of these new rods i got and a new rig and let's see what happens hopefully we get some fish on us stay tuned Alrighty, we got our $40 can of worms. Thank you, inflation. And we're gonna set up so, same rig we always run, cricket hook. And on a side note, take all the worms off your hook before you put it away. Don't let it corrode and ruin your hook. All right, got our cricket hook here. Run one red wiggler. Hopefully we got some and hopefully they're alive. Cool. All right. A little bit to do a little dancing. Run a little bit deeper than that. About 18 inches. And then we're just gonna chuck this up in there. And hopefully get some bait. We did hammer it quick, so that's a good sign. So did that one. All right, a little better gill. Get over his weeds. That'll work. That's what we're looking for. Oh uh, yeah, they're up shallow. Wow, I think he hammered it. Hammered it. Man, they're pulling hard today. Look at that, spawning. See how dark it is? So the rule of thumb is two or three days before or after a full moon is the best time to get in there after these, catch them up on the beds. Um, but I have no idea what the full moon status is right now. So I don't know if that's the case or not. Alabama boy taught me that. I will say this, they are really shallow. I mean, really shallow. I'm hammering them now. That's what I was looking for. I need to put some in live well for this weekend. I mean, that's a nice gill right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh yeah, this one swallowed it because he didn't even take the bobber under. Nice gills too. I mean, look at this. Beautiful gills. Look at that. Still using the same worm. Let's try again. Instant, instant, as soon as it hits water. They are just laying up in there. Freaking dogwoods, man. 
Yeah, the cottonwoods are getting stuck on the line. Taking that son of a gun to cast it. What? We're getting it up there. Instant. Instant. These are pretty gills too, look at this. Beautiful gills. Almost do a video just on these gills in that video on catfishing. I mean this is that's too much fun. I mean these are beautiful gills. Look at that. And I mean they are smacking it. Took me a minute to figure out where they were at. They are up there in six inches of water. But this is instant, watch this. In the water, one, two, three, boom. I mean, instant. These are studs, studs. Bring them into those weeds though. And the color on these is just unreal. Look at this, beautiful. Look at that, gorgeous. Look at this gill, guys. Look at this gill. It's a handful. I mean, he inhaled it. All right. We're gonna do some kitty cat fishing. We've got a unique situation. We got a wind coming up current and not a very strong current going down. So I'm doing something that's rule number one I never do in a river, and that's I put my back anchor down because they're fighting each other and that's going to spin the boat around so here's what we're going to do we are going to the scissors we're going to take this little guy cut him up and do a couple chunks here let me tail section we're doing what's called a Kentucky rig, double hook rig. So we're gonna suspend the bait up from the bottom a little bit. We're gonna put our headpiece at the bottom. This is just a six aught circle hook. It's more, more in line for channel cats. And scale off. There we go, so that's a double hook rig. It's just two T knots right here and right here. We got a little loop knot at the bottom figure eight knot that we got a two ounce two and a half ounce which we can get away with today because the current is very slow and we got a 35 pound leader 35 pound leader and 65 pound mainline braid and that's that so we got that set and then this is what i'm excited about this brand new rods just picked up today st croix triumph musky rod and we're actually going to use this for catfishing. We got paired up with that Abigail Sia 6600 XS. And we're going to run a four ounce weight on this because we have a slip swivel. Let me get rid of that. So we're going to put a four ounce on this because we want to plant this one on the bottom a little more regardless of the current. And then we're going to run a headpiece here. This bluegill, we literally just caught this bluegill. Scissors suck. All right. All right. Headpiece here. Maybe. Nostril. There we go. Simple Carolina rig. Four ounce weight on a musky rod. And I just lined this up, and you can tell because it sucks. Let's so strip some of this out here. So we're gonna loosen our break up just a little. That's probably a lot of our problem. Let's try this again. Let's 
rod is super light. This reel is, I believe, 6.3 to 1. Not really sure. All right, now we got our brake set, right? There we go. Beautiful. Let's sit on bottom. Perfect. So that one's set. Got a little kitty cat nibbling down there. Oh, we'll take it. There he goes. I'm playing with it. Maybe? Maybe not. Playing with my emotions is what he's doing. A little flatty. So I like about flatheads. They don't mess around. How well is he hooked? He's not hooked at all. He's he just got the bait wedged in his mouth. That's gonna be good. Check this out. This is a trip. So look, this fish is not hooked. Oh yes, he is. I say he's not hooked at all. A circle hook. I took that awfully deep. There we go. Headpiece. Here you go. That's probably a four pound flathead. Pretty cool. First fish. Let's let him go. He should be good. He was a bit of a fight. There he goes. All right. And we got our bait back. No worries for the wear. Rehook this bad boy. Maybe. Circle through the eyes. There we go. Put it back out there. There's my flathead down there. Cool. The fish just annihilated me. Oh man. This fish is legit taking me up river. I don't know how big this fish is. He's literally running up river like he owns it. I mean he took his rod down like nobody's business. Man, what are we doing with here? Oh nice. Nice channel. Man, that might be my first 20 pounder of the year. If I can land him. Let's get the net here. This fish is owning me. Absolutely owning me. Jeez. Oh, he ran up river, down river. This is a big channel. It's a pretty big channel. If we can get him in, we'll get a weight on him. Let's see what happens here. Got him. Oh yeah, that's a stud. That is a stud. Man, that might be a 25 pounder. It's a huge channel. Oh my God. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, he owned me. What a great fight. Let's get this camera going. Dude, <laughs> that was cool. 
this fish just took it and ran. I mean, ran. Up river, down river. Those are my best channel cat bites I've ever had. Oh, I got him an eye. Come on, buddy. Let's see if we can roll this out of here without doing any more damage. All right, gotcha. Size eight offset. Not was not. Easy, but he's about to wail on me. All right, we're zeroed. Let's see what we got. Right. We are nothing because it died. Let's check it out though. Look at that thing. Stud. Stud channel. Let's get a measurement on him. He is. Oh man, he's only 29. This might not be as big as I thought, weight-wise. Let's see if I can zero this out. Not doing too much damage here. Okay, let's zero this out. Okay. Now we're zeroed. Hey, go on, buddy, open up. Man, what a shit shell. Shit shell. Alright, let's see what it says. Yeah, this thing keeps dying on me. Twelve pounds, that's it. Wow. I suck. <laughs> I guess it wins, that's a nice channel. Really nice channel. Heck yeah. Let's let him go. Let's let him go. He's ready to go. Let go. You gotta stop biting. You gotta stop biting. There he goes. All right. That was awesome. Heck yeah. This spot has everything I'm looking for. I'm on the outside bend of the river. Coming down into a deep hole. Flat and at the, at the end of shallower. So this is a 10 to 12 foot drop right here. I've got a lot of logs and a lot of jams down here, so this has really got absolutely everything I'm looking for. I should pull at least one or two cats out of this, so we'll see what happens. It's first cat. It's been three minutes of being here. Looks like a little flathead. Yep, just a little guy. Just a little guy. Dare I? So good. Do the old boat flip. Let's see what happens. Got him. <laughs> Hook well. Here you go. Flyhead number two. Talking to you. All right, back you go, buddy. Thank you. There's one. I thought this spot might be good for two. Let's see if we can pull another one out. All right, that'll do it for me out here today. It was a good night. Uh, tonight, the pattern was outside bend at the front end of a lot of lumber. So nice current on outside bend, deep hole, and I had to be at the very front of a lot of lumber so I could set my scent down through it, and that seemed to be a ticket today. So uh, it is June 2nd. So uh, we'll get back out here this weekend, try to put some more videos together for you guys, and hopefully the flathead bite's on. They're not on a spawn yet, and hopefully we can uh, get a big one in the boat. So see you on the next video.